breakup song anyone will ever write about me. <laughs> because it's very self-deprecating on my part, or? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. Uh, speaking of self-deprecation, we have a new album that came out in August. Um, <laughs> that we're very excited that's finally out in the world. I feel like I've been writing it since I was like two. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Well, deep. Um, this next song, I, it's a concept album about uh, my personal anxiety and depression and journey through mental health, which I still feel very fucking weird about saying to the microphone. Is that why you sing with a weird voice? It's not a weird voice, that's how I talk. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyways, this song in particular, um, so my friends would ask me to hang out, and I would be like, oh no, I can't. Um, I'm melting into my couch and pulling on my eyebrow hair again. So I'm very busy for the evening. And, you know, like that gets really fucking awkward after a time and time again. So I was looking at other methods, other ways I could possibly say that to someone without sounding like that. And something I came up with was naming my anxiety, so I refer to her as Susan. It's a lot easier to be like, oh, Susan's a bitch, and she's staying with me all weekend. I'll see you Monday, or maybe next time. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, and so it's just an easier way to kind of talk about it, and I would highly recommend if you deal with mental health issues, give it a character. Talk about it behind your back, you know? Or him. Or then. Yeah, yeah, who knows? <laughs> Whatever you, you decide. You, you decide. It's your choice. Anyways, this song's about Susan not letting me hang out with my friends. And yeah, it's called Sarah Busy. See me cry. 